Hello everybody, I'm Brantman19, we're playing some more Supreme Ruler 2020, the 4th Reich. And uh, lots gone on in one our last episode. We uh, took on Hungary, we had built up a force to take on at least one of these nations, and Hungary was the one we picked. Uh, when, as soon as we took care of them, we took Buda, uh, Budapest from them, and next thing you know, Italy was like, no, that's not cool, we're not going to let you do that. So uh, Italy attacked, and they did take out most of my... Uh, Slovenian lands that I had taken, but it's okay. We're pushing back over there already. Uh, we're they're actually using artillery to counterattack, which is weird. And um, for our own, we've been doing pretty darn well. Um, we've got you know guys taking on Italy. We we had a hard time at first, and Moldova decided you know they're like, no, we don't like your aggression. We're gonna attack you too. Uh, Moldova was a fairly easy victory. It was just funneling men that would have gone to Russia down in there and now what's gone on is Chisinau is ours and those two land fabrications are ours which now means I can get my troops built quick you know built there as well to attack Russia so that's only worse you know that was only worse for Russia we need reinforcements. I was never gonna attack Moldova outright because Japan would have eventually been like no we don't like you either and I didn't I wouldn't have the, a surprise attack on Japan like I would the other way around but now what I'm trying to do is I am trying to cut in across northern Italy. If I can cut across that, I'll take like 9 to 11 of their land fabrication facilities. And I can go ahead and start working on their other 5 or 6 that they have down here in the boot. So Once that's taken, that's an incredible amount added on to me. Uh, I have 99 production facilities right now that are all working towards you know, beating back Russia and beating back Italy. The other thing is, uh, with all those fabrications, we can work on Romania and a few other guys to, in, you know, Belg you know, Bulgaria, who has been at war with us for a long time. And uh, we could take some of those guys out too, which will make us, uh, the war against Russia go easier, which looking at it now, we've kind of regained what we had before. There's a few things that are messed up. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Yep, there's Orel. We did take Curse back, which I guess my Moldavian troops really, they could, they definitely could have used what I did. And I put us at DEFCON 1. We've been at 3 this entire time, which is a lower level. They're not, we're, only, we're not getting any kind of boost or anything, but now we're getting some extra special stuff. We're getting a 20% efficiency boost and a 20% build speed bonus. So now we're going to pump out our units even faster. So it's like uh, we have nearly 100. Well, now we're going to have, it's like going to have 120 land fabrications working at once. So, we're outnumbering Russia huge, huge numbers. They're not going to, they're not building anywhere near at our speed. So all we got to do is just take down their units like we're trying with this guy, which he got away. But all we got to do is just take them down and destroy them, and that's doing so much more worse to them than if I would have lost. Okay, I don't see any... The bad thing is, most of my guys are kind of... They're working their way around Switzerland. Switzerland is just... It's kind of like a thorn in our side here. Yeah, what is that town? That's Milano! Milan... Uh, what is this? I don't know what this town is. Torino! Torino's a big deal. We knocked that one out. That whole entire northern end starts to fall apart very fast. In the meantime, though, they're trying to hold Ljubljana, which they took from us. They're going to try to hold that as best they can. Don't blame them. They should. I kind of wish uh, that uh, Croatia here would get into the war. That would make it really easy to cut off Ljubljana stuff. If I could take it. Okay. These units are actually getting pulled into the fight. That's really, that's really nice. I normally don't get that. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take out some things that I don't like here. Uh, here we go. There's only five units that I could use, and they're all doing something I need them to do. We're going to scrap all the arty, all that stuff. Just so much that I don't need. We need reinforcements. See, these guys down here. I still do need the arty down here, because in case they push back, I don't think they're even going to do that. We'll go ahead and get rid of them. I don't think they have the ability to push back anymore. I think we've pushed them to the brink, uh, break point. 
They're losing their in their treasury. They're losing. They can't go any lower than Defcon three. And as I hit them harder, take more of their units, they're not going to be able to hold out. Let's come on down here. I'm sending a few of my units in different spots. Nope, I don't have any more units on standby. Behind the line, that is. Come on over here. I want to take this Trento. I want to take it. There we go. Nope, come back right here. Hold it. Need to get in there and entrench. There you go. We can start taking care of those Arietes. Come on right here. Oh, they're perfect. Need to build up a garrison. Building up our garrison forces are really important. See, because of Switzerland in the way, we have a hard time going around Italy. Normally, I, when I take on Italy, I would take on Switzerland first so that I could use that road. And plus, it's easier to get down in here and take out uh, Milan. So, Anyways, here we go. We're actually pushing deep into northern Italy now because of that. That little route opened up all that extra. Okay, there you guys go. Let's maybe take out Verona. And, yes, in fair Verona. I think that's, yeah, that's where Romeo and Juliet happened, right? Yeah, fair Verona. Okay. Hold out right here. That's good. We're gonna... I could probably go ahead and try to get Padova, which is a good little spot to have. I want to cut off... We need reinforcements. Come on right here. I want to cut off all their forces fighting over here from the rest of Italy. There we go. Come on down here. Uh-oh. They're, they're a little pissed. Oh, come on. Quit. Entrench. There we go. I think I got it. Take Padova. They're yeah. Put. Let's get these garrisons knocked out so we can start destroying all the artillery in the region. Okay, come on, push in there. Nope. Okay, he got destroyed. Well, can't win them all. We need reinforcements. They're gonna push back a little bit, but Trento should be garrisoned. Yeah, we can start putting those in the barracks there. No, they'll push back, but hey, we made them weaker elsewhere. We are not doing anything over here. That's what I don't like. Come over here, do some... Take out what's in, on the road along the way. That's the more important target, right? Like, don't try to just shoot across, because that's not going to help you. And I don't know why they do that at times. Oh, you need to back out of there for that industrial facility blows itself up. Yep, alright, we just hindered their artillery a little bit. Yeah, come over here. Let's let's work on the let's work on the lower side on this one. There goes some more forces that are trying to get around. Okay. What are you why did you not push? We need reinforcements. There we go. Yeah, take out that Ariete if you can. Come on. We're going to lose this industrial complex if it keeps getting hit. It'll take us 13 days to repair it, but we're getting hit while we're doing this, so... Not a good situation. Okay, seems like they're kind of stopped on this end. We're going to push in on the north and try to take out some artillery. Oh, that little piece right there is taken. Uh, that's not good. They destroyed a bear. They destroyed a bridge. I didn't know that they had done that. There's Lobjana stuff. Okay, go ahead and fall back. It's fine. I'm not mad. Nope, not mad. Okay, I want you to repair here. You can be closer to the front line. What's going on with Russia? I kind of have to keep a weird eye out here. I gotta, I gotta be looking everywhere at once. There you go. See that that, like we were just talking about earlier, destroying that does the Russians way more damage than it does me. And the Vodnik just about died too. They're building out a Kozelsk here. I want to take that. Eventually, I will. We need reinforcements. Probably after the fight with Italy. 
And we're building up our UN approval again. Like, our UN approval is just jumping. Oh, we're like... That's a weird. He was just trying to run away, but he should have... He was trying to attack at the same time. Okay, there you go. Our organization makes us, a, you know, have a better attacks, too. They'll respond quicker. Stuff like that goes on, so we need to make sure we keep that in our best. There you go. Take out some of these little units that aren't doing them any... That are doing us some harm. Oh, they're going to try to push through there again. Not good. We need reinforcements. Come on down here. Their enemy units are approaching Kursk. Let's go see what's happening. Oh, uh, we took care of that. Okay, I'm just hoping we can keep things normalized over there. They take a spot, we come back, take it. Just stuff like that. I want to keep that little... Those sorts of attacks going. No, I want you to co I want you guys to quit doing the stupid stuff. I want you to come actually take what I want you to take. There we go. We caught him in between. Again, it's just like with the Russians, it does us better. We'd have to like go against you know, at least 5 or 6 enemies that had over 120 to where I would feel really bad about losing every unit. I mean, they all out they all over, you know, out overwhelm me. I couldn't even say the word. They yeah, they all have more units than I do combined right now, but I just destroy them quicker. I have that advantage. We could maybe check out Lejana right there. Come on this way. Take out that little BMR APC. Okay, fall back. Yeah, get out of that small town. I think they're trying to move down here. Serbia was eliminated. Looks like Romania got most of that. We gotta be careful. I think Romania might be getting ready to attack us. And they have a ton of units compared to, you know, look at all that. Lots of uh, M84s, which are like uh, upgraded T-72s in a way. We need reinforcements. Built by Ukraine, I think. Okay. Just, yeah, push them back that way. That's fine. There's another, like, I can easily take that base. I just want to take this area out first. Like, it'll domino effect once I take this one. There, then there. Take that one out. Then we're in the rear of Lebjana, so we're pretty much got entire northeastern Italy taken care of. It'd be awesome to have Italy taken care of when I've got... Nope, you need to come back down here. I do not trust you going that way. Except to maybe take this guy on. Maybe we can cut him off. There you go. Oh, you're scaring him. He's running away. Okay, I don't think we're going to take him out. We can't catch him. That's fine. Come on down here. I want you to come through here. Take that little bitty town out the way. Maybe we can dra get them to pull their units around and try on this side a little bit. Oh no, come here. Yeah, I got plans for you. Okay. Come on, get there. There you go, you took it. You can catch up with this, you'll quickly get your supply back. Alright. Take this. He's just getting hit by that artillery from long range. Okay, take out that BMR. I don't know, he wants to push through here and I don't I don't agree with that move. That's not very smart. Genova. We need reinforcements. Okay, yeah, you can go there. Let's go here. Let's send you here. Like I said, we need to try to get a road going in between. It is more important to have a sh path to get there. Yeah, he's trying to get down here. He was going to help that one unit that was having a hard time. Okay. We didn't actually take out a garrison when we did it, but we did hurt him. These guys are pushing around kind of weird. Build, transport, road. There we go. We'll build that back. 
No harm in building something back. Right, so let's go see Russia. Oh, uh, we're doing something. I can't tell what we're doing right now. Hold on. We're pushing in some weird spots. Um, I think the more I get over here and defend the Kursk line, the better off we're going to be. But I'm going to let the AI continue to handle it. Let's see, what are they doing? Yeah, I think we got it. It doesn't look too bad. We need Go ahead and take Verona back. Oh, and they're pushing in there, so hey. Surprise, surprise. Um, let's push in here. Let's use some units to uh, surprise them in a different spot. Uh, why are you going there? You could have taken that little area and been fine. Come on, nah, you're, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to make you do. Okay, come right here for right now. There they go, they're pushing in. Nothing but artillery in their way. Okay, we're going to come down here. Uh, we'll push up here. Now that the supply is getting there, cross that little bridge. Up oh, there we go, come on. Take out that artillery, there we go. Now they're... The, the Italians are like chickens with their heads cut off now. They have no clue what they're going to do. They can't stop us. We could cut them off here if we wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. That's not the exact way I want to go about this. The more we get in here, take little points, cut them off from different directions, see... That's all we're doing, is just cutting them off and then making them react. Let's see... I don't even know what kind of artillery unit that was I just saw. It looks really bad because they're pushing around like AA and artillery at the same time. And it's just not this they're not the same units. Look at that. Come on, guys. I'm not gonna push them. That that's just how they're gonna get destroyed if I push them. Okay, there's Treviso, there's this going on. This area over here looks like there's nothing in it anymore. Let's go for it, why not? We'll move some of we'll try to move some more of their units over here. Let's see, do I have anything built up? Nope, I don't have anything. It's just one unit's gonna try this. There he goes. There they go, they're running their units out of there. No, come here. Oh no, never mind. But you're doing what you need to do. I, I agree with this move. Okay. Yeah, take on that tank, and then we'll turn on these artillery. Come on. Come down here. There you go. That tank's in the way. We'll take him out. There's nothing down here. Keep pushing this way then. If, if you're not, you should be attacking at all times. Okay. If we can take Padova out, like that's, that's going to be the key to taking out their entire little base here. Oh, look at that. We caught him behind already. Come on down here. Yeah, let's go ahead and finish wrapping it up down here. Now that we've got our old land back, that's so awesome. We finally got this little area back again. Let's come on, take Trieste, and start working down their coast. See that? Just right there. We can take out Udine, stuff like that. Juden, that might be how it's spelled, said. Oh, that sounds so uh, that sounds like like how you say Jews in German. Juden. All right, I'm gonna say Udine. That's what that's how we're gonna call it. We're gonna actually pronounce every letter. Udine. All right. Come on, let's let's go ahead and take out Trieste. That's such a good little port area to have. Not like I'm gonna do anything with it right away. Udine's getting taken. Padova will be next. Or we'll take uh, Venice, actually. Venicia! The Caesar 155, I do not want it. No thank you. 
Come on. Let's get in there and help him. Oh, we're just a little bit behind on helping out. Oh, we've cut. We actually cut in there. Like, we took the spot. Okay. If we take this area right here, it'll. That'll all fall in very shortly. I know it's always like, oh, if we take this next area, it'll it'll all work out. I know it sounds weird. I keep saying it, but it's very much true here. Let's see. Do I have any other little units that I could throw into a battle? Uh, he's coming in down to the north. I'm gonna pull these guys down here. There we go. That artillery was taken care of. We'll go ahead and take Cooper. All right, come on right here. Throw yourself into this battle. Take out as many of their units. Try to take out this garrison. Yep, yeah. What are you going to do? You're fighting right off against somebody else, too. Okay. We have surrounded that. I really want to take this town. We need Udine taken completely. If I had a few more units, I'd go ahead and take Genova as well. That way we at least have that piece taken. Alright, I think we got it. Send this little guy right here. There we go. Alright guys, well, it's looking really well. Uh, Italy is almost down. Russia is being handled. I don't think they've pushed back anywhere. There's Curse still. As long as Kursk is still ours, I feel good. That's what it's coming down to. As long as Kursk is ours, then I know we've been holding out so they haven't done anything over here he's just playing around with us but uh yeah italy is near italy is at a breaking point now and looking at their money they still have plenty of money it's not that and we actually completely did that it's the fact that they're losing all of their military fabrications now which means i get their barracks in the area i get all that kind of stuff so we'll crash into the into the boot probably in the next episode hopefully we'll take most of it maybe at least get Rome that that's my that'll be a good goal for the next one just take Rome so alright guys I appreciate you all for watching and I hope to see you guys next time